Why are neuron models a very useful tool for immunologists? Oh, uh, well, they are very useful, as you said. We have, um, in uh, if we just talk about autoimmunity, we have uh, two main types of models. The models where you sort of know the antigen and you want to provoke an autoimmune response. So basically, you have a knowledge from the patient, and then you move to the mouse to reproduce the disease and to better understand the mechanisms. But we have also other models of spontaneous disease. Uh, a famous one is the NOD mouse uh, for autoimmune diabetes, where they develop autoimmune type 1 diabetes. And this model was very important to understand the role of regulatory T cell, the trafficking of the, of the, of the, of the, of the pathogenic cells into the target tissue, uh, all kind of imaging that you can perform in, in animals in a very homogeneous way. And it is always something back and forth from the patient to the model. You refine the model, you discover something, you go into the patient to, to, uh, to, to see that it is uh, robust and you ameliorate the model. So it has been very helpful and also to, uh, to uh, try uh, at the preclinical stage, some new therapies to evaluate them. We need models before going into the patient. Okay. Um, so in terms of your own research, how have you used neuron models to contribute to the better understanding on the different autoimmune diseases that you study? Oh, we... Uh, so, as I said, we are uh, we're currently interested in taking uh, antibodies from the patient and transfer it to mice to see if we uh, transfer the disease, which mm -hmm. is the case. So uh, it is a, a good way to, to, to study the, the mechanism of, of the autoimmune necrotizing myopathies. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we are working on a model of uh, NOD mice, as I was talking, because when these mice have a genetic deficiency, they, they are knockout for a gene uh, that is involved in co-stimulation of T-cell, ICOS gene, the NOD ICOS mice do not develop diabetes anymore. So the conclusion is that you need ICOS-mediated co-stimulation to have diabetes. Okay. But they develop another autoimmune disease, myositis, which is very intriguing mm -hmm. because uh, ICOS is not antigen specific, so if you uh, knock down uh, a pathway that is not dependent on antigen recognition, you can change the target of autoimmunity. So we have to understand this, and this is probably related to the role of regulatory T cells, and it is uh, also uh, the only model of autoimmune uh, myopathy that is spontaneous. And so this has been a, a very good model we, we are working on. Okay.